Hey, it's JC here from JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. That's 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436174195316097. Uh, we're doing some uh, talking about Marvel reprints, not these uh, not these cool ghost stories from DC. Not yet at least. We will be talking about these at some other time. Uh, but we need to finish up talking about these here. We've got Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man. This is a... God, who did this cover? It's uh, I think maybe it's a Marie Severin cover. It's certainly not Romita. And it's not Don Heck. It might be Don Heck. Or no, it might be George Tosca. The Horns of the Rhino double feature special. Starts off with uh, Kazar. I uh, believe this is issue number 58. So I think they, they reprinted some of these issues well out of uh, sequence. This is uh, after him and Kazar face off. He comes to, and he was kind of knocked about. And you've got John Jameson there. You've got Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Starting to look more like the classic Gwen. Cops are all after Kazar. Look, you can have Devil Dinosaur run around, and nobody says crap. But uh, a man shows up with his pussy cat, his tiger cat, and everybody's, oh, we can't be around here with that oversized kitty cat. Hey, you got uh, Jay Jonah. He's going to over to Smythe, and he's got a new Spider Slayer that he's going to let Jonah take out for a test run. Make sure you get that deposit, man. Don't let Jonah just take that thing out without taking his insurance card down. Uh oh. You got Betty Brandt uh, talking about uh, with Ned Leeds there. It took them many, many, many years before they end up getting married. Uh, John Jameson's getting ready to ship out. You got Spidey there. And he's uh, he knows something's wrong. And look, there's Jonah tracking him down because of the spider powers. Luckily, he didn't know he was at Peter Parker's apartment. And Spidey eventually tricks him. And then you go to this reprint, The Horns of the Rhino, which we actually do have the actual issue itself. Issue 41 of Amazing Spider-Man, The Horns of the Rhino. So you can see they changed the color. This was yellow. It was white initially. J. Jonah, Jam or J. Jonah Jameson, and you got John Jameson, goes back to Amazing Spider-Man 1. And the Rhino shows up, a new enemy, a very powerful enemy. He sees Betty Brant, and they decided to go out for coffee. And she's with Ned Leeds. Oh, wow. Well, he he should have known better. Got two kids saying, Spider-Man and make miss me. Yeah, that'll be the day. Comes crashing through. He's bulletproof. And yeah, Spidey decides to go. He ain't got his butt kicked yet enough this week, so he decides to take on the rhino. And he's he's fending them off, but I don't think uh, Spidey Spidey can quite beat the rhino. He shreds his uh, his webbing. Easy. That stuff's a Okay, sorry about that. The uh, battery ran out. But uh, here's Peter running, running into Gwen again. He's got his motorcycle for a short period of time. He had a motorcycle. He just took possession of his motorcycle. And look at Gwen. She's all excited about that. Oh, I never thought of you the motorcycle type before, Peter. Oh, she looks disappointed. Now we've got uh, this here. Spider-Man 94, just like old times, the knockout... Uh, Knock him down and drag him out. Battle between Spidey and the bludgeoning beetle. Plus Spidey's origin for you latecomers. Which it was. That was the first time I got a chance to see Spider-Man's origin. Uh, here you can see these Marvel self-portraits. I wish I could have set away for those things back in the day. Gwen now is intrigued uh, by by Peter. And how he uh, he's riding. A, he's dangerous now. He's got a motorcycle. He's dangerous. But Aunt May be tell, uh, tells Peter that... 
he has been bad for not seeing poor Mary Jane, who's been waiting to meet him for once. He's like, oh, I have to get it over with. Sure, okay. Eh, wouldn't it be funny if she's a real doll? Come on, Mr. Parker, stop, stop daydreaming. You know there isn't a chance. She's not going to be hot. You got an angel uh, reprint. Uh, Jerry Siegel, who created, co-created Superman, wrote this uh, Wrote, worked for Marvel for a short period of time. Dick Ayers and George Tuska. George Tuska did the artwork. But this story is written by Spider-Man's co-creator. Now look at this cool thing you could have sent away for. Man, I wish I could have got my parents to get me that. It would give me nightmares for weeks. That's exactly what you want to give a five-year-old. But here we got this pinup. Peter Parker and uh, Spider-Man. If you look at Peter Parker's face... You look at the body, something's different about this. These are Steve Ditko drawings, but the face is a John Romita drawing. They, uh, to reprint this, they use John instead of Steve Ditko's uh, original artwork for, uh, for Peter's face. And I wonder if Steve ever found out about it or he, if, if he even cared uh, before he even died. But here we got Marvel Tales number 32, Rhino on the Rampage. This is issue, reprints issue 43 of The Amazing Spider-Man. And issue 42, Spidey met Mary Jane for the first time. Yeah, you got the rhino breaking in, stealing some stuff. And then you got them at dinner. And Peter's just like, you know, he just can't take his eyes off. Or, Whew, this is the gal I didn't want to meet all these months. Whoosh, you know. You know, Mary Jane's, you know, telling him, I never thought a tiger wore his hair so short could be so dreaming. You gotta bounce it back. Dad, you're the end. She wants, uh, wants Peter to, uh, give, uh, her boob tube a whirl. You can fill me on your life during the station breaks. All right. It's a deal. Oh, they're all hitting off beautifully, May. She's just what Peter needed. She's so full of fun, so alive. The boy leads such a quiet life. Tell me about yourself, Mary Jane. How come I never run into you before? What do you do with yourself when you're not driving helpless males out of their minds? She's taking drama lessons. So you plan to be an actress. C correction, Clyde, I am an actress. It's just one big on time till the big blind bouncy world discovers that fabulous act. And look, she's bouncing and dancing around and everything. Thank God for John Romita. Oh, they, they, uh, Interrupt because of the scorpion. She's mad. You think they'll wait till the end of the song? Those crazy threads break me up. She's mad. But she and Peter decide to go uh, to go there, so she wants to go with them. And she bets the swinger's a real swinger. The rhino's a real swinger. You got Daredevil there. Him and, him and uh, Foggy Nelson. Cut to the origin of the rhino. Then Peter somehow... Gets a, gets a chance to get away from MJ. He's going to put a hurting on uh, the Rhino because he's got his new uh, his new hot girlfriend. He's got to impress her good. Spidey, isn't he the dreamiest? Peter better get back before he misses all the fun. Fought him. He got uh, he got knocked down. Almost got his camera broke. Got Fred Foswell there. He shows back up, takes her home. And you got Peter shows up at Kirk Connors, and they uh, devise a, a plan to take down the Rhino. And next time the Rhino comes, oh look look who this is! It's Arnold, uh, Mr. Uh, Rhino himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you don't, they don't tell you who this is, um, but he's hell-bent for leather and lead. Arnold is hell-bent for leather and lead bracelets. They'll turn your arm power on. It takes a man to wear them. She'll love the look of your arm power. Look at that. Look at those bracelets. It's like your, your Prince Namor or somebody. I wanted a pair of those when I was a kid because those things look cool. It's like, man, look, you put those on. Look, look what happened to you. You get big arms. Spidey, uh... Takes care of the rhino. John Jameson, uh, uh, that he's in, uh, he's in the bed right now. And then you've got the lizard showing up. 
This was the first comic I ever, Spider-Man comic I ever had. And boy, oh boy, this brings back great memories. Uh, Aunt May is going down to Florida. Kirk Connors is there to meet his, his wife and his little boy, Billy. And he's turning back into the lizard. Next thing you know, the lizard lives again. He's got those red eyes. He takes a... Uh, takes a railroad tie and he smashes through a wall and he's off to the off to the races and he recognizes mrs connors and billy she's in tears so he switches to spidey comes to their rescue what if he's changing back to the lizard hope our suspicions are wrong we can't afford to take any chances which way did he go right there for that tunnel that's all i wanted to know and he goes there and it, Goes back and thinks about the first time that he and the lizard fought. And you get to see this here with all the alligators that he's controlling. And then he finally switches them back. I could find a thing. You know, maybe Dad's waiting for us there. You're right, Billy. There's always a chance. That's right. Keep those hopes up before they're dashed. King Size Special with the Rawhide Kid. You got Peter at the Daily Bugle. And Mary Jane shows up over at the Silver Spoon. It was the coffee coffee bean, but they must have switched to the Silver Spoon because those damn friends were, friends were uh, uh, sitting on the, uh, the the couch all the time and not letting anybody else use the couch. But uh, introduces uh, MJ. And Harry says, Imagine Sly Pete keeping her all to herself till now. Hey, Mary Jane, Pete knows her? But damn. Gwen, you can see Gwen's not... Uh, you know, not looking. She's mad. Gwen's mad. I don't know what's gotten into Pete. Even a scholarship student like him can't afford to let his, his study slide. Do me a favor, Flash. Sure, baby, name it. Stop breathing on me. You got the lizard. He's smashing in. He's got red eyes. He's uh, smashing into a dispensary, I, th I bet. Oh, they make... Jonah gets Jonah up out of bed. Oh, Jesus. Priest, man. I was trying to sleep good. Pete has to call. uses his mask to uh, back for caller ID. And he sees the lizard. The lizard's like, doop 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 doo doo And he puts his camera up. And Spider-Man, hope you show up. You treat me once by, by tr trickery. I'm far wiser now. He's hitting them. He's like hitting the stone wall. Come on. Let's get it over with. And that tail, using that tail to whip, unfortunately, Spidey just can't, can't, uh, can't stop him. You see them, you know, look up. Look, there's somebody else, else, else scaling the wall. That means he's not the only one that has a power like that. So maybe he didn't pull that robbery. It could have been someone else. And he's putting a licking on the, the lizard. And he's got his webbing. Lizard goes down there and slices through his webbing. Spidey has a cushion, but it's not quite good enough. It's Spider-Man. How do you ever get up from a fall like that? Say who you are. Let me see your arm. I'm a doctor. Yeah, my arm can't move it. It hurts bad. Real bad. It's only a strain. It's not broken. You had this here, these portfolios. Wish I could have uh, gotten some of those, too. Spider-Man 100, the greatest of the great, the sensational Sense Saturn 100th anniversary issue, featuring the most unbelievable ending of all time. Truly a must. And there he goes up. Spider-Man, your arm, did you? It's him, no doubt about it. He's a lizard once more. But there's still hope, you know. He's committed no crime yet. There must be some way to change it back. I'll never rest until I find it. Try to have faith in me, Mrs. Connors. I won't fail you. He's too powerful, new, merciless. He'll never be beaten again. She's taking it awfully hard. There's nothing I can say to reassure her. Might as well return home. Can't bear to see a woman cry. Ha! What's the phone? Oh, Aunt May! How was your trip? Oh, boy, my arm would stop aching. Your voice sounds so weak. Is anything wrong? You get enough sleep? Sure, never been better. Must be a bad connection. Oh, MJ. She's dancing a solo at uh, performing school tomorrow night, and she can get a ticket if you play your cards right. A ticket tomorrow night to see you dance? Wow. Hold on, Daddy-O. 
Oh, he can't make it. Oh, damn. Mary Jane must be writing me off now. I left my camera behind where somebody could find it. Whew. Man, could have had a private solo performance seeing Mary Jane dance. Damn, damn Spider-Man screws up in life. Iron Man Annual 1, you've got Gene Cohen. you got the Titanium Man. Trying to hurt Pepper. And he picks up I.O. Showhead. But Showhead's free. He couldn't hold him. There you got Happy. You got Marvel Triple Action here. Uh, the first few features, issues featured the FF. So, but instead of just calling it the FF, there's Mar Marvel tri Triple Feature, Doctor Doom, The Thing, and The Silver Surfer. Three in one thrills from Marvel, Mighty Marvel. Got John Basama cover. It's Jack Kirby. They're continuing on their honeymoon. This is issue 55. Ben's being Ben. He goes off to see uh, Alicia. You get the surfer just flying around. He decides to, to see Alicia. She's singing, singing some songs. And he shows up and is like, Oh, you said you returned. He goes in there and talking to the, uh, the, the old lady that run in the house. Oh, you, you startled me. Oh, I guess you ain't see a Prince Charming come to crash in. Wait a minute. What's a man's voice doing up there? A man's voice? Well, it sure ain't Minnie Mouse. So he's mad. He goes up there, crunch, sees the surfer, and he punches him right out of the uh, the house. And he's mad now. The thing's mad. Thinks Alicia's double timing him with the surfer. And you got Johnny and White Wing uh, Wingfoot. That uh, they've got something going on there. Some monster getting ready to attack them. And you go back to Ben and uh, the surfer duking it out. Tries to break the uh, the surfer's surfboard. He can't. White has uh, something. Uh, grabs his gun. It's Lockjaw. Brr. Lockjaw. You can't break it. Oh, I can tear a brick part, brick building apart with my bare hands, or peel the sides of the battle battleship off like a banana skin. But I can't even put a dent in this crummy, sawed-off plank. <laughs> Finally, Reed and Sue show up and kind of uh, simmer him down. Surfer uh, fixes his uh, his cycle, so it's brand new. Here we've got the next issue. We've got the Sandman makes an appearance. Co-star in the Wizard, the Inhuman, the Silver Surfer. Joe Sennett inks. Sandman attacks him. The thing can't lay a hand on him. Got the Wizard there. Surfer gets a uh, invitation from Doctor Doom. So all good's gonna come out there. He's gonna let uh, Doom uh, park his uh, park his board. Better watch it, Doom. Better watch it, Surfer. You might not. Uh, you just might not uh, get your surfboard back. He creates Doom a big old hammer thing that he that he uh, he just shatters the side of his building, takes it away. Doom is intrigued. He wants that power. He wants the power. You know, you got Reed and Sue still going up after uh, the Sandman's coming after him. They can't quite defeat him. You got back to Doctor Doom. Somebody drops something. Doom's losing his mind. Then finally, he's geeking out the surfer by showing him pictures of outer space, and then he steals his power. Doctor Doom, imagine that. Doctor Doom had devious thoughts. There, now he possesses the power cosmic. Got the torch, the torch in uh, uh, Wyatt and uh, Lockjaw. There's some sort of big monsters they gotta fight. They disappear. You got, you got Black Bolt's taking a nap. Nobody wants to wake him. They're trying to cook hot dogs on his little sizzler there. And uh, Maximus the Mad. Meanwhile, Doom is terrorizing people. With his power cosmic. Cut to the next issue. Got a John Romita cover. 
Doom shows up to let everybody know that he's he's the big dog in town now. He's trying to get something out of the surfer. The surfer tells him, you know, uh, ha, the once a mighty silver surfer now barely able to move a muscle since your new master has tripped you of your power. Master. Glock has been my master. You are but a flea. You dare speak so to me? You'll swing us different to him when I return to destroy you after I have reduced the Fantastic Four to whimpering, whimpering, whimpering helplessness. Mm. You don't talk to me that way, mister. Here you got the things reading the haunted uh, monster uh, ghost book. He's all wrapped up into it. Oh no, what's going on here? I don't remember nothing on my shoulder when I started reading. He runs off. He's a big scaredy cat. Ben, wait, come back, it's only me. That's Stretcher's voice. What happened to him? How did he become a gill so fast? What's bothering you, big fella? It is you. <laughs> you got Doom. Doom shows up. Him and Doom are going to have to duke it out. He's trying to fight Doom. He's got the power cosmic. He can't take Doom down. He tries. And Doom uses the power cosmic to turn him stiff as a statue. He goes back. There's Reed and Sue. Reed's working on a coffee maker. Doom shows up. They're attacking him. He's creating a weapon to, to smack the hell out of Reed's hand. There's the torch. Uh, can't do anything for him. So he's heading to the Baxter building. He comes in there. And Reed, that's why you're now about to perish. What odds are you giving creep? The human torch! Oh, you must have peaked. So him and the torch are duking it out. He is getting some flame on going there. You can't help now. Take Sue and get out of here. The house will explode in a matter of seconds. But what about Johnny? Got Wyatt. Gets, uh, gets the thing back in action. The torch just cannot, no matter how... Oh, how much uh, intensity he can put to his flame can can stop Dr. Doom. They try to stop Doom. Doom is unstoppable. Next issue, Doomsday. Here you've got um, House Ad for Marvel Premiere, The Power of Warlock 1, and Tomb of Dracula 1. Let's see, we've got Tomb of Dracula right there. And I've got Marvel Premiere right here. Dr. Doom pinup page. Got Spider-Man 106. The West Flinger battles to finish with the Spider Slayer, but who's finished? This is a must. Again, you got Arnold Schwarzenegger. That guy is all over the place, man. Got Marvel Triple Action number five. They were done with the FF reprints. Now they've got the Avengers reprints. The Mighty Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. Uh, you've got the Salva Sama cover. And the Avengers break up. Baron Zemo and his Master Zemo and Immortalist. Got Don Heck doing the artwork. And not even the Masters of Evil can stop the Avengers. There's a Captain America pinup. You've got Thor fighting Hercules. This is before he actually fought Hercules, before they actually brought Hercules back. You've got Merlin. Taking on Iron Man, he can't stop him. You've got Goliath taking on Giant Man, he can't stop him either. Paul Bunyan uh, shows up to try to take on uh, the, ex uh, the Executioner, and he kicks his butt. Here we've got triple action number seven. This, I almost want to say, is a Jim Starlin cover. Because it sort of looks like, it looks like Starlin. But I don't see his autograph anywhere. But it might be Starlin and uh, and Al Milgram. The original cover. It's Avengers number 13. Uh, there's Spider-Man 114. Spider-Man's got a spanking new also right? And caught smack dab in the middle of a gang war between Dr. Octopus and Hammerhead, right? So does that clue you in to which Marvel Mag is definitely one of the wildest, wooliest chillers of the year? Right. The uh, Wasp gets hurt, which old Hypox is going to be pretty angry about that. 
But uh, taking on Count Nefario here. The FF makes a uh, makes an appearance in here as well. Go to Marvel Triple Action number eight. This appears to be Salva Summer cover. This is a Salva Summer cover. Even Avengers can die. I'm going to show you the cover of that right here. Issue number 14. Again, there's the uh, Frankenstein ad. It's talking about Chamber with uh, Richard uh, uh, Robert uh, Bloke and uh, Jack the Ripper story. But they're able to save, save the uh, Wasp's wife. Uh, layout by Jack Kirby. Came back for this issue and Don Heck did the uh, inks. Well, layouts by Kirby, pencils by Heck, inks by Chickstone. So it took three guys to draw this issue. And got a Kirby cover on this here. Again, this red. I mean, look at this thing. It just... Four against the Minotaur. Quicksilver and the uh, Scarlet Witch. Man called Hawkeye and Captain America. Featuring the search for the Hulk. Don Heck, why not? Stan Lee, who else? New Avengers succeed in their search for the Hulk. You see the Hulk show up in uh, in some of the pages in here, but they do not find the Hulk. There's the uh, Hulk fighting uh, fighting the leader. I think this is some artwork that was taken from those comics because that looks like Jack Kirby's artwork. Got Marvel Triple Action number thirteen. Don Heck cover coming to the Swordsman. Again, you got Don Heck and Dick Ayers. A great reprint here as well. Ends with a uh, cliffhanger. Cap uh, falling off of a building, and he's he's not chained up, but Cap can't. He's tied up. How are, how are they going to save him now? Vengeance is ours. There he goes. You want your precious Captain America back? Here he comes. Don Heck, you got you got Quicksilver. Quicksilver should be fast enough to to uh, to help save him, but the Avengers pull it off. As a team, they're practically unbeatable. Thinks the uh, Swordsman. And the Mandarin appears in this issue as well. Here we've got Marvel Triple Action number twenty-one. Again, the red. This is a reworked cover uh, by uh, Kirby, I believe. They don't show you the original cover on the inside, but this cover has been redone. It's a redone cover. Talks about the Marvel calendar for 1975. A Tuma's in this. It's not a Tuma. It's the Return of Giant Man. A scary octopus. Quicksilver is not quite so fast underwater, are you, buddy? Then we go to some of the Thor reprints in Marvel Spectacular. Reprinting some great Thor stories. This has the Hercules in it. The Thunder in the Netherworld. Uh, this is a great book again. You know, the way the white and the red you know, just just jump off the page there. You got Vinnie Coletta. Uh, Pluto. He's, uh, Pluto's in this issue here. Making Donald or not. Uh, it's not quite time for that yet. But he's in the Underworld. And he has to fight Cerebus. I am Cerebus, guardian of the depths. No farther shall you go unless it be on thy knees in abject submission and surrender. All who dwell below must cringe in fear before my might. Thor's like, I'm the god of thunder. I defer to no none. Pfft. What do you think you're dealing with? See my, see my winged helmet and see my big hammer? What do you think I'm going to do with this hammer? I'm going to bash you upside the head. ba -hoom! And bash he did. Got Herc. There, Thor got his feelings hurt. I think he got my hit in his uh, Norn Stones. You got the Savage Tales ad. You got the Barry Smith artwork. There's Mischievous Lofi. Loki's always up to no good. This here features Ego, the Living Planet. This picture was reworked from the original. You've got the recorder. You got Vince Coletta. You got Kirby. 
You got Stan. You got Artie Schmeck. There he is. That's some way out stuff from Kirby's mind, man. Kirby was just going crazy at the time with that wild stuff. I'm not a teacher. I'm a nurse. There's uh, Ego the Living Planet's anti, uh, antibodies to help take care of that virus of Thor. The recorder's just watching. He's just recording. That's what he's doing. We're going to have the people breeders next. Next, the people breeders. You got Gather Warriors, Tales of Asgard. You got Hogan the Grim. Vandrell the Dashing. And then, of course, you have. Volstag, the enormous. He's hungry. He needs a Slim Jim. But Ragnarok is coming. Okay, we've got Marvel Spectacular number five. This is uh, features the uh, High Evolutionary. Again, you've got Vinnie Coletta. you got Galactus makes an appearance. Let's see, where is he at here? Where's the High Evolutionary? They take him, there you go. You get to see the High Evolutionary as co-created by Kirby. And then again, Tales of Asgard sets sail. Issue 7. Jane Foster becomes a goddess, but she doesn't take, and they take it away. Don't want to tick off Odin. To die like a god. Thor and Sif. And then we're going to have the Groin Man, presented in Thor 139. The Queen Commands, it's the Tales of Asgard story. You got Ulick. Got the Groin Man Returns. Again, you've got a Tales of Asgard story. If you like these uh, videos, certainly subscribe. If you subscribe, be sure to hit the... Um, bell for notifications. This was from Thor 140. And you can see the growing man is growing. He's taking some special nutrients to uh, get a little bit larger. There. He's smacking around his wood. Look at those cars there. Kang's there. Thor shows up. Can he put him down? Well. Buy and read. Thank you.